morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. That's good. How did you sleep? Like a baby. I think you're pretty great, Christy. I think the same about you. It's it's a little weird though. I feel like I I haven't gotten to know you. Yeah, that. I know. We kind of flew past all those awkward getting to know you games. So can you tell me about your family? Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, no I don't. Wait, I have a great idea. There's this great game we used to play at camp. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. Sounds easy enough. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, I'm from Wisconsin. I backed into a car when I was 16 taking my driver's test and I'm afraid of swimming. You have no trace of an accent, but I also don't read into stereotypes, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that you are a great driver. Eh, wrong. State champion at breaststroke. Wow. Mm -hmm. I actually suck at driving. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? What? Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine, I will be right up. All right. You are not going to believe who that was. Who? Remember the guy I was telling you about last night? Paul? The Paul. This guy's incredible. I mean, <laughs> no description will do him justice. You gotta see him to believe him. I've got a few minutes. Let's go for it. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you agree. I do. I see it. Yeah, so I can't tell what that person is. Is that yeah. a horse? I thought you were a competent professional. Is it supposed to be black and white? Now it's photo negative. Mm. That looks totally fine. If you say so. It was nice to meet you, Paul. The colors are all off. I've worked at the food pantry for three years, and I really love this office. Well, thank you, because I don't believe that you could ever bite someone. E she had it coming. And this office? Well, this office is a dump. I mean, I haven't been here long at all. This isn't me yet. from San Francisco. Graduated top 10% of my class. And also, I have never been in a relationship for more than six months. Oh, I hate having to hope for one to be the lie. But you seem a bit like a country boy to me. You're not from San Fran. Yep. You got me again. <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry about the six month thing, though. Fast is fast. Top 10% though? And this is your dream job? I mean, not, not exactly. Life, uh, life throws curveballs and this is sort of just where I ended up. So what else do you have to do today? Monthly protocol gas line check. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Should be good, right? You yeah. wanna go? Yeah, let's go. All right. cute couple. Do you know these guys? Yeah, that's what they want you to think. Truth is, she cheats on me. No. Oh yeah, I've seen proof. Wow. I just wish she would find out. Yeah, that's something you should know. I think you should tell him. Yeah, I mean, he's a great guy and I thought about telling him, but I'm just a super, you know? 
I do hope he finds out though, because what's the point of being with someone if you aren't going to be open and honest with them? Anyway, do you have to get back to the soup kitchen at all, or not? Not that I want you to, but no, I I spend all my time there. I think I deserve a day off. I called in sick. Fair enough. Hey, Elliot, how's it going? And who is this radiant beauty we have here? My name is Nathaniel. I'm Christy. Christy, nice to meet you. Elliot, I always knew you were a ladies' man, but uh, I'll leave you two kids alone. <laughs> wow, what's the story? Big shot Wall Street guy? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really know him that well, but it, I guess he's loaded. Girlfriend? No. That is my sister. I thought you said you were an only child. It's, um, it's complicated. Complicated? How? She was always a wild one. No one, no one ever really had a handle on her. And a couple months back, she, uh, she ran off. Do you know where? Some hippie commune in the sticks? I, I don't know. But something about it doesn't sit right with me. What do you mean? I hadn't heard from her in a long time. And then I started getting these letters. And it was weird to begin with because she was contacting me in the first place. But then there was something about it that didn't seem quite right. I don't know. I guess those are kind of weird reasons to look for someone you haven't seen in a while. I don't think that's weird at all. You care about your sister. That's not strange. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. It's just, it's really hard to talk about. Hey, we're just getting to know each other. I'm really glad I spent the day with you. Me too. It was super. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> it's easy to lie. It just makes life more comfortable. Truth is hard, and it won't always set you free. But when you find someone worth telling everything to, well, that's when life becomes interesting. You don't have to knock. Mr. Wright, Detective Leo with the police department. I'm here to ask you a few questions about the murder of Travis Gardner. 